Um, this is Bob Andelman, and you're listening to and hopefully watching the Mr. Media Radio interview with Hagar the Horrible Cartoonist, Chris Brown. And while we were away, Chris was telling me the story. Hello, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Bob. I doff my headphones to you, sir. Um, <laughs> uh, Chris was just telling me a great story about uh, how uh, after his dad died, he, he had to go to New York and meet with some King Features uh, uh, salespeople and the editors and really convince them that he could... Uh, he could do the job, and yes. um, he did that by uh, doing a drawing of uh, Hager uh, upside down, and uh, so he could prove to them that he knew the strip upside down and inside out. And uh, coincidentally, he told that story, and I happen to know that he has a little pad handy and uh, has, do. has agreed to give us a little demonstration, as awkward as it's going to be, of how, <laughs> how, how he draws uh, Hager. So, uh, Chris, if you still feel good about doing this, let's take a shot at it. Yes, I will. Let me see if I can get this positioned in such a way that you will be able to, We're good. to see this All right. through the miracle of, of, of uh, Apple computers. <coughs> okay. I tell you what, let's see if I can. It's a, a little awkward, but I, I tell you, I'll give, it my, I'll give it my best shot. Okay. Let's see. I think the problem here is going to be when I look away from the, the screen. Okay. Can you make that out? Yep. No problem. As a matter of fact, I have my black Sharpie. Let me see if we can get it in the kit. And a, a piece of SpongeBob uh, stationery oh. upside down. So, uh, yeah, I'll be drawing here as well. Uh, it won't look anything like that, though. All right. Am I staying on screen? Yeah, okay. Good. Well, what I did was I I went into this um, office filled with the King Feature salesmen, some of the greatest salesmen in the world, and um, the vice president of King Features said, "I don't want to make you nervous, but you've got about thirty seconds to win these guys over." And so I went into the room and I drew Hager upside down, like this. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm drawing alongside you here, and I'm telling you, it is not as easy as you make it look. <laughs> um. All right, I'll just go ahead and show folks what I've drew, what I've drawn while you do the real thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just I love that. I'm just copying very badly. That's Hager after a battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't look any better up, up upright, folks. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now let's let's focus on the well, real thing. So, look at so that. This is what I this is what I did. I drew Hager upside down. And then I flipped it over like that so that they could see that I basically got it right. <laughs> and, uh, but I did this real big. Okay. I did it real, real giant on a big newsprint pad. And then I turned to them and I said, now you can go tell the, the editors that the new guy knows Hager backwards and forwards, that, that you saw him draw Hager upside <laughs> down. And they applauded and that broke the ice. And I've, I've told Ashley, my daughter over the years, Ashley... That was the cartoon that allowed you to go to college. <laughs> Very good. So, but I, I, I was mentioning to you earlier that uh, when my dad passed away, Hager was in 1,600 newspapers, about half of that inside the United States and half of that in Europe and other mm -hmm. places around the world. And that's a fabulous list, and we were very happy. But I was nervous when Dad passed away that that um, we would lose some papers because that does happen when the originator, when the real creator of a strip passes on and it, the work passes on to somebody else's hands. Very often you will you will lose uh, some papers. Well, in the three years uh, following my Dad's passing, we actually picked up. Um, we picked up over 200 more papers. We didn't lose papers. 
And um, I'm, I'm going to tell you very honestly that it was not because I had added some little dash of Tabasco sauce or something to my ink. It, it certainly wasn't that I was... Um, uh, that I was writing better or drawing better because those first couple of years were not my best work. Uh, the salesman at King Features really, uh, they really came through and they got Hager into papers where it hadn't appeared previously and they managed to convince editors to give me a shot to uh, hang in there with me. They were great. Uh, I've worked for three syndicates. I really have nothing bad I can say about any of the syndicates I've worked for. I've worked for the three greatest syndicates uh, in the world, Universal, United Media, and King Features. Y you can't work for better people than this. Uh, but I have to say that um, King Features is very special. Uh, I, I think that uh, should I ever do... Another comic strip, it'll, I'll probably offer it to King Features first because they have some of the best, uh, they have some of the best people behind the scenes, including the salespeople and, uh, um, and the executives. They have some amazing people, people that really care about the comics and, uh, well, that's it. I'm going to get sloppy. <laughs> Let's not have that happen. <laughs> it's a great syndicate. It's a great syndicate. I've, I've been very lucky. I've worked for some great magazines and some great, uh, some great people over the years and I've been blessed. Well, now you, you mentioned, and before we wrap it up, you did mention, uh, doing a second strip. Uh, when we met, you were doing, uh, Raising Duncan about, uh, yes. uh your pup. And uh, I wondered, you being a, a cartoonist and being a Brown, I imagine that doing something on the side is never too far from uh, uh, your focus. Uh, obviously, you're doing, you've been doing Hagar full-time for many years, and you, yes. you, you have done other things. You did Cruiser, you did Raising Duncan, yep. a Cruiser for Playboy. Um, uh, what's in your mind now? Is it, is it books? Is it, you know, what kind of things do you want to be doing in addition? It is books. It's amazing that I do that, <laughs> folks. Yes, you did that very well. This, this, is, this is not my book, okay. <laughs> but it is a book, as you can see with the title. This is a wonderful, wonderful children's book by Lane Smith, who did The Stinky Cheese Man and many other things. And uh, I, just, uh, I just love children's books. I love comic strips. I'm going to keep drawing comic strips until... They take my pencil away, but uh, I do want to do children's books on the side. I, I, over the last couple of years since I've moved here, I've formed uh, a couple of really nice relationships with a few editors in New York City, uh, including uh, uh, there's one editor at one of the major book publishers in uh, New York who seems to like my work. I've never met her in person. I've only corresponded with her through the mail. But she has um, assured me that if I keep sending her books, she is going to find the book of mine that she will be able to publish. And uh, she has given me sage advice over the last couple of years, including not so many dinosaurs. <laughs> there are a lot of dinosaur books out there. So... Uh, uh, I'm hoping that uh, in the very near future I will be able to, I will be able to ring you up over this magical device, this crystal ball that you have, Mr. Media, and that I will be able to announce to you that I have finally got a children's book that I can show. I do have, I have a sketch of two characters okay. here. This is on like a little, a little odd piece of paper. This shows you how, what, a, what a class <laughs> operation I have. I have like, like, spare I have no like, expense. Like, laundry lists and things that I, I draw on. Well, these are two characters, and uh, you know what? I, I can't even tell you the names of these characters because the names of these characters is a secret. Ah. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why it's a secret. These characters are based on two real children that I met here in Sioux Falls, and... Uh, I don't want those kids to know that these characters are named <laughs> after them until I have a book that I can place in their hands. 
because their names are part of the title. You're not keeping these kids in the basement right now, are you, Chris? <laughs> no, 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 no. They are, uh, they are actually the first two children that I met. Uh, they're a brother and a sister, and they are a brother and a sister in the book. And um, this is actually a book that is, that is sitting on the desk of my, hopefully my, editor in New York City right now, and uh, I, I already got a note back from the editor saying, I've got your package and I can't wait to read it. And I had drawn this big elaborate cartoon on the envelope, and she said, oh, by the way, I am framing your envelope. <laughs> so that, that was nice. lovely. That was lovely to hear. Nice. So, so hopefully that will be my other hat, will be that of a children's book author, well, that would artist. Be great. That would be just great. Would well, be listen, great. folks, we spent a good long time with Chris Brown. He's a wonderful guy. Uh, I want to encourage you. Yes, check I out am. Check out his work every <laughs> single day in your local newspaper. He's the cartoonist on Hagar the Horrible. And you can order the first books in the series, Hagar the Horrible, the Epic Chronicles. I'll hold one up here, but we'll be, you'll Thank be seeing it throughout the interview. It's Hagar the Horrible, the Epic Chronicles. The first two books are out. The third book is on its way. These are from Titan Books. You can see it at you can uh, see it at TitanBooks.com, or you can order it right now at a great price at MrMedia.com. Uh, Chris, uh, always a pleasure to talk. So glad we finally got you to do the show, and uh, I hope you'll come back uh, soon. I absolutely will. Mr. Media has a special place. <laughs> In my enlarged Viking heart. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Chris Brown, thanks so much for being on Mr. Media, and good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Great to see you. Right. See you Bye -bye. soon. Bye-bye.